morning all you simple life lovers. I hope you've been doing well and welcome to my channel. So I'm Miss Rita Britz and I am training to be a minimalistic zero waster. So actually I'm just someone looking for the simple life. And as part of that striving or drive for a simple life, I have changed my whole beauty routine to going zero waste or low waste, natural and mostly DIY. So that's what this video is on about today. I want to take you into my bathroom, show you what I use every day and explain to you why. So firstly, what is zero waste or low waste beauty? The whole idea behind the zero waste lifestyle is not to deprive you of anything, but to only get your mind to think what are you leaving behind after using these products? So not, it's not only about packaging. Yes, packaging plays a major role. We need to decrease our consumption or our usage of plastic products in general. But that's not the only thing that you have to consider. You need to also consider the chemicals and the toxins that you leave behind. The soap that gets washed off your body, that goes into the streams and into the oceans. The plastic beads that you might use to exfoliate. The palm oil that you include into your products or when you buy a bar of soap and it includes palm oil. Where did that come from and what's the implications of where they got it? So you need to think broad, broadly and globally and of the bigger picture. So when it comes to zero waste, you not only need to consider the packaging but also the chemicals and the toxins that you are bringing into your home, into your life and onto your body. And that was one of the reasons why I started going zero waste beauty. Because I was scared of all these things that we were putting on our bodies. Chemicals that I can't even pronounce. Things that I didn't even know of. And I don't really care if they're really bad for you. If they can be carcinogenic or um, allergenic or it can lead to certain things happening to you. That wasn't my biggest consideration. It just felt wrong putting man-made lab made things on my body when there are natural alternatives that are much softer, much gentler and better for the environment and also most of the time cheaper. So when I weighed up those things it was a done deal. Obviously I was going to go zero waste and more natural. So these are everything that I use on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and this is the only things I use. I know this is more than what most minimalistic zero or low wasters use, but I like having certain things for specific um, things. So just bear with me. Firstly, my bath or shower routine. I've got a loofah, which is a natural product. It's a, it's a natural um, thing. I think it's a plant, a sea plant. This one looks a bit mangy, but um, I've been using it for a while now. So once you put it in water, it just plumps up again and then it looks fine. Then I've got this charcoal facial bar, which I use to clean my face and to remove my, my makeup. I don't wear lots of makeup, usually just mascara and eyeshadow. So this takes care of that. Um, my makeup was also homemade and natural, so it's, it's water-based. Very easy to take off. Then I've got a shampoo bar. This is actually a shampoo and conditioner bar. This is from Lush. I love Lush's products. I don't think that they are terribly bad for you, even if they do have one or two chemicals or things in that might be suspect, but I think they're in such small quantities that they should be fine. And also if you look at the, the choices that we've got out there, I think Lush, Lush is one of the better options. So this is a shampoo and conditioner bar and it works wonderfully. My hair is soft and manageable. This is the, I think, honey and I can't remember, but it's very nice. Then I use just normal bar soap. This I buy from wherever. I try and pick one that doesn't have any packaging or if it does have packaging, that it's the paper-based packaging, so no plastic. They are from very cheap to very expensive, so it just depends on what you want from your bar of soap. This is literally just a bar of soap. No moisturizing agents or anything like that in it. Then I've got 
a scrub, facial scrub. This is just salt and oil with a bit of um, essential oils. I think I made this with olive oil, which is really great for my skin. It hydrates my skin, it takes care of fine lines and wrinkles, and it smells nice as well. This is gentle enough that I can use it about once, twice, three times a week, but it's also abrasive enough to take care of dead skin and any other issues I might have. I might also add that um, I do get eczema very badly in my face and since I've changed my routine and tweaked it a little bit I've taken care of that entirely and the scrub has helped immensely because I also add to this things that are good for, for my skin and that treats the eczema. Most essential oils or a lot of essential oils are antibacterial which helps also for the um, eczema and acne and some of them also moisturizes and treats your skin like lavender so look into that when you start making a product so that you choose the right oils and essential oils to actually support and heal your skin instead of just cleaning it then i've got a safety razor this is the last zero waste product that i have now bought and i was scared of it um, i've been putting it off for about two or three years because i'm a bad shaver i shave skin off as well as the hair and that's why I don't do it very often. So I was scared of this because this thing can take off your leg if you don't use it right. But ever since I've had it, um, I've had a few uh, accidents. And yeah, but not that bad. You just need to pay a little bit more attention and um, use lots of lathering so that it glides over your skin. I'm in love with this really in love with this. It gives you such a close shave that you actually extend the time between shaving because the hair grows back that much slower. So love this. Um, I'm actually regretting not getting it sooner. Then after bath, just first full disclosure, I don't use body lotions or creams all that often. I used to have to um, put some on my body at least once a day sometimes even more because my, my skin was dry and itchy but since going this route and since using my bath moisturizer, moisturizer which I'll show you now I've eliminated that completely so most days I don't use any lotion or moisturizing product on my skin after showering but if I do feel that I need something then I've also got this solid lotion bar also from Lush um, I used to make my own, but it was just much easier buying this from the shelf. So it comes packaging free. They wrap it for you in paper when you buy it. So it's really packaging free and it keeps for so long. I bought this one at end of November last year and you can see it doesn't even look like it's been used. And it's very nice to use, especially on those piece, uh, parts of your body that tend to be a little bit dry, like your elbows or your heels or wherever you need it. So that's my showering basics. Then when I bath, and I try and bath once a week, it's my me time, it's part of my self-care routine. I put essential oils in the bath and Epsom salts so that I can just help and, and support my joints because I've got arthritis and some days it's very painful. So that helps with me managing the pain and my movability and all of that. It also gives me time away from the kids, time to think, read and just, you know, reflect on my life. So when I bath, I add bath salts, which I make myself. And this I make depending on what I need from it. So if I feel it's going to be a very stressful week, then I'll add more calming essential oils. If it's going to be that I've slept very little, so I need a, a boost, I'll add oils that will rejuvenate or um, refresh. So this is then, every week will be different. And it's just Epsom salts. I like to get the, the coarser crystals because they take a little bit longer to dissolve and it also gives me a little bit of exfoliation when I get into the bath. And then I add this. This is my coconut oil bath moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't make this from a recipe. It's not an idea I got from someone else. It's a product that happened by accident. Um, I didn't add enough beeswax to my original product so it didn't set and then I ended up just pouring this liquid into the bath and it works like a bomb. So it's coconut oil with shea butter, a little bit of olive oil, 
vitamin E oil and then my essential oils. I just melt it all together, mix it up and then pour a teaspoon or two of that into the bath. It leaves you hydrated, moisturized, silky smooth. Very. I, this is one of the products or the ideas that I'm happiest with. Then I get, let's first do cleaning. So if I end up wearing other makeup because we had a function or something or I just feel that my, my skin needs a, a good cleanse then I've got this oil based makeup remover. It's also something that I make myself. It's got olive oil in. Um, I can't remember but the recipe is on my blog. So I use this with these cotton rounds. They've been crocheted so they are nice and smooth. Uh, absorbent but not that absorbent so that the oil just ends up being trapped in here and nothing on your skin and they just work very nicely so I put some oil either directly on my face and then wipe this off with it or I put oil on the round itself and then just wipe the areas that I want it's especially useful if I have to go from a day function to a night function and I just quickly need to take off my eye makeup to reapply or to, to fix a little bit. So then you can just work with a small area instead of just taking off all your makeup. So this is one of the things that I'm also loving and um, I've got two different sizes of, of scrubbies or, or facial rounds and I'm actually going to make some for myself that is more dense but also from the same cotton. Okay, so that is cleaning. Then after I've now washed my face, scrubbed my face, did whatever I wanted with my face, I've got two products that I then put on my face. This is one of those things you don't need two products. You can need only one, but I'll explain to you now why I've got two. So my first one is a facial oil. This is what I make myself. It's got yoga oil in, olive oil, vitamin E oil, frankincense, and then essential oil, and then other essential oils. And also avocado oil. The reason for this, I started making this when my eczema was really, really bad. It gave me immediate relief. It soothed the burns. It took away the redness. <coughs> Sorry. It helped with the itchiness. So this product was just mm, one of my, my saving graces. And it really helped to clear up my eczema. The reason I started using it at night is because I also add citrus oils, so grapefruit or orange or lemon into it, just to help with the, the healing and the facial brightness and all those other things. And you can't put those on and then go out into the sun, because some of them are um, phyto... because they are light sensitive, or they make your skin light sensitive. So I was scared that if I put this on during the day, the sun will give me sunspots or blemishes or actually worsen the problem. So that's why I started putting it on at night. So now I also add lavender, which is calming and soothing and that really makes my skin feel very fresh and plump and moisturized. And then this is the product that I use during the day. It's um, made in South Africa. The name is Be Natural. And it is one of the best products I have ever, ever encountered. They've got a whole range of products. They make it all from um, raw honey and beeswax. So it's 100% natural. You can buy them in big pots, small pots, and then as I said, a whole range. They make an eczema cream, which is, I think that with my facial oil was what so solved my eczema problem. It's specifically formulated for that type of issues so it really really treats and fixes your skin this is just the normal one so it's not the eczema cream one it's just the normal one it smells faintly of honey so sometimes the smell can be a little bit overpowering for me the the eczema product doesn't smell like that but still wonderful wonderful it I think it can be a problem for people with oily skin because it does take a while to absorb. You'll see even now my skin is still a little bit shiny. But the moisturizing that I get from this is unbelievable. So I will never use another product. I used to make my own day cream. But since discovering this, not even going to try. Okay, then brushing my teeth. I've got this. It's a homemade toothpaste. Um, I wanted to use a tooth powder, which is basically baking powder, 
with essential oils so it stays in a powder form but then I read a few um, articles that said baking powder alone can make your teeth brittle after a while but by adding coconut oil you are then eliminating that chance so this is coconut oil activated charcoal to help with whitening and um, baking soda I add salt for the antibacterial and um, abrasive qualities and then essential oils the essential oils that I like to add to my toothpaste is a little bit of lemon for whitening lots of peppermint for freshness and then clove oil just to support um, dental and gum health I also add xylitol every now and then because xylitol helps to keep cavities at bay it keeps your teeth from getting little holes in and then I've got this bamboo toothbrush they um, range from very expensive to kind of cheap but that doesn't really matter because they're better for the environment so the handle and the body is then made from bamboo which is compostable recyclable and then the bristles are unfortunately made from plastic but that's fine it's just these little bits um, if you compare to a whole toothbrush that's made from plastic so when I'm done I just take out the bristles they go to my recycling bin and then the bamboo handle goes to the compost. Then you might wonder, what do I use for deodorant? So I used to make my own deodorant. It was a simple recipe of water with salt and I can't even remember. And it worked fine up until the moment that I started moving and being active. Then I just started to smell. So I stopped that and I've moved over to this. It's a crystal body deodorant stick so it's made from crystal rock it's actually made from salt salt rock um, it is unfortunately imported from America and it is encased in plastic which are bad but I've had this one now for over a year so you can see it doesn't even look like it's been used it just it keeps forever I think I'm gonna later on have to throw it away because it's just old so that kind of makes it okay for me with the, the low waste because if, when I used normal deodorants I went through a bottle about in two weeks, three weeks time so if you weigh that up to one plastic bottle for two, three, four years then it makes sense to me. Okay then, I'm not a lover of dry shampoo but it does happen those days when you forget that you had a meeting and then you didn't wash your hair so now it's oily or greasy or whatever so then I use this it's basically corn flour that's all that it is I've got light hair so it works for me if you've got dark hair you can then mix cocoa powder in here or um, nutmeg or any other spice that is the color of your hair and you just play around until you meet reach the right color you simply dab it on and then just shake it out and then it absorbs all the oils and it gives you a short-term solution to a problem so don't use it often but I've got it just as a backup okay and then that time of the month period time it's a very wasteful time if you've taken consideration pads and tampons you use them once and you have to throw them away and through how many do you go during a cycle so the first Hi you simple life lovers, as you've probably noticed I'm new to this whole video thing and um, when I made my zero waste video it cut out before I got to the end of the video. So I'm just putting this in with the, the rest of the video because I don't want to reshoot the whole thing. I'm saying that I was discussing my menstrual cup, I use a goddess cup and um, with that or in conjunction with that I also have reusable cloth pads which I got from Moon Time. Um, great, they are made from cloth, super absorbent. I will post pictures on my social media accounts later on. And um, with that I just wanted to also conclude by saying that uh, Zero Waste Beauty, although it can be a little bit tough getting into it and, and getting started and there might be costs associated with it, I have never looked back. My my body has thanked me, my life has thanked me, my family has thanked me. Everything is for the better when um, since I've gone natural and DIY and less complicated. So I hope you enjoyed the video. 
As always, if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you can get notified of all new videos and happenings. Follow me on my social media platforms. And please drop me a comment if you've got anything to add, any questions, anything that you struggle with. And then I will see you next week.